All right, for today's lesson, we're going to talk about independent and dependent events. We're in the world of probability, or the uh, world of trying to figure out the chance of something happening. Before we talk specifically about independent versus dependent events, let's talk about what an event is. Um, it's pretty simple here. Uh, we can call an event something as simple as spinning this spinner. If I spin this spinner once, um, its result is an event or part of an experiment, one trial in an experiment. So you can see spinning spinners, flipping coins, uh, rolling dice, those are all examples of events. Now sometimes what we do is we do two events uh, together and we'd call that combination a single event. For example, if I spin the spinner and then I roll the die here, those two things together, we can call one event. All right, so let's move on to the independent events. Independent events are events that do not affect each other. So for my experiment that I'm about to do, I'm going to toss the coin, and then I'm going to roll the number cube. So here's a coin. I'm going to flip the coin, and you can see I got heads. And now I'm going to roll the die. When I did that, I got two. Now, because flipping the coin and then rolling the die have no connection, um, the result of the coin flip has nothing to do with the uh, result of rolling the die, we say that these two events are independent of one another. One, one's outcome doesn't affect the other one's outcome. So they are independent. On the other hand, dependent events, they do have an effect on each other. Um, so we say that if the result of one event affects another's, uh, another event's probability, we say that the events are dependent. So for this experiment, what I would do is you're going to choose a block from the uh, picture there. We've got 10 blocks. And then you're going to keep it. And then I'm going to go in and choose one. Now, because when you go in and choose one, you don't put it back. That means when I go in there to choose one, there's going to be one fewer block in the set of blocks. And of course, if you choose a purple one, there's going to be one fewer purple one, um, and so on. So because your choice affects um, my chance of getting the, a certain block, and the total number of blocks has changed, we say that those events are dependent. Because when you go in there, let's say, for example, that you go in and get a white block. Now when I choose, there's not going to be a white block in there. Also, there's not going to be 10 blocks in there. So the probabilities when it's my turn to choose have changed because of what you've done, we say that those events are dependent on one another. Thanks for watching.